Hi everybody, welcome again to this course and welcome to my channel. Please encourage us by share, like and subscribe. My name is Ahmed Sayar and I am an English teacher. So, today we are going to look at the English verbs in the simple present tense how we conjugate the verbs in English in the simple present tense a tense which is about what happens every day every week every month now and then it's talk it talks about habit it talks about I think we do every time so sometimes we say usually adverbs of frequency etc so let's start again when conjugating verbs in the simple present tense in English, we can divide them into two categories or two types. So, uh, I put the English verbs in the simple present into two different types. The first one is the verb to be, which is alone different from the other verbs. And the second type or second category is the other verbs. Okay, so let's go through the verb to be and see how different it is in regard to the other verbs. So the verb to be in the simple present in the affirmative form is like this. So you say I am or am. For example, I'm a teacher, I'm a boy, I'm a girl, I'm an artist. You are or you're, for example, you're a student, you are an American, you're British. He is or he is, for example, he's, an, he's a man, he's an engineer, he is the boss or he's angry. She is or she's, for example, she's beautiful, she's a pretty woman, she's a nice mother. It is or it's, for example, it's a door, it is the school, it is an aquarium, it's fine. Or we are or we're then, for example, we're people, we're girls, we're women, we're students, we're happy. You are or you're, you're Moroccans, you're engineers, you're students, you're great, great. Now they are or they're, and for example, they are my friends, they are glad, they're kids, they're happy, they're famous. Now, Let's move then to the verb to be in the negative form. So, when you want to put the verb to be in the negative form, you just add not. For example, I am not Kamal. You are not my best friend or you aren't. He is not or he isn't your brother. She is not my cousin. It is not a plane. We aren't brothers. You aren't teachers or you are not. They are not foreigners. So as I see here, so the difference between the not formal one and the contracted one is just the when you want to focus on the your opinion and show your opinion that you show determination so you say look i am not camel or look i am not angry so here there is a um an uh, uh, a determination you want to show that it's really not so you showed how the the negative is we move now to the affirmative to the interrogative one so the verb to be in, in the interrogative form, so it's just inversion. So we have, I am a teacher, it becomes, uh, am I a teacher? Am I French? Am I brilliant? Are you, Siham, are you okay? Are you a driver? Is he your brother? Is he an artist? Is he fine? Is she married? Etc. Et are we tourists? Are we tall? Are we Spanish? Are you players? Are you glad? Are you the guests? Are they cousins? Are they sisters? Are they cats? Are they Brazilians? So it's just the inversion of the uh, sentence in the affirmative form. For example, she is my teacher, so she is my teacher. Is she my teacher? So it's just a, a simple movement, a simple movement when you move the uh, verb and the, you bring it into the beginning of the sentence. So when you ask a question, for example, am I crazy? So you have two possible answers. Either you say, yes, you are, short answer, or yes, you are crazy. 
for no you say either no you aren't or no you aren't crazy is your brother an engineer yes he is no he isn't you can say long answer yes he is an engineer no he isn't an engineer are we americans short answer yes we are long answer yes we are americans or no we aren't or no we aren't americans great let's move now to the other verbs so here we are going to notice the difference between the verb to be and the other verbs Let, let's look at the affirmative form now let's start with the verb to go so you say i go you go and we you they go but when it comes to he she it the verb changes it takes an es goes another verb to speak so again you speak you say i speak you speak we you they speak but when it comes to he she it it changes it takes an s so notice that in the first example es in the second example we have s another example to dance you say i dance you dance we dance but we, we, when it comes to he she it it becomes dances so it takes an s great let's have more examples to study so you say i study you study we you they study but when it comes to he she it it becomes studies with i e s again to watch i watch you watch he watch what well, he watches but when it comes to he, she, it, becomes watches, an ES. Yes. And the verb to have. And here the have is, verb to have is going to be different a little bit because we are going to see. So I have, you have, we have, you have, they have. But with he, she, it, it has. So here we don't add, but we change the verb. And this is the exception. It's the only verb in the English verbs that we do not uh, add. Uh, s or es or ies but we do change the the verb it's the only one okay. now again so sometimes s sometimes es sometimes ies let's look at the rule now rule number one verb plus es when do we add es verb now we add es for verbs ending with the double s for example kiss pass so we say kisses passes uh, always in the third person singular so what is this third person singular it's he she or it then ch for example search so here searches then sh for example finish fish finishes fishes then x for example fix box fixes boxes then o for example do or go and here we have she he it does or goes great let's move now to the other rule when we add again the verb plus ies so when do we add ies now look at the rule we add ies with verbs ending with the consonant plus y so what do we do then if we have a verb with consonant plus y we just delete the y and we add the IES. Let's look at the examples. So example one, to study. Now to study, he, she studies. Now the Y is deleted and it's replaced by I and then ES. Great. Another example, to carry. Now here we have he, she carries. Then to fly, he, she flies. Then to marry, he, she marries. Great. Let's look, let's look then at the next or the last rule, which is S. When do we add S? So we add S with verbs ending with E, like, for example, to like, he likes, to dance, he dances, she dances. We also add the, the S with verbs not belonging to ES and IES rules, which means verbs which we do not apply the ES and IES rule and uh, for example to visit so visit here doesn't have a Y and it doesn't have a, an E so we are just S another example to call calls to play plays but wait here wait stop so we have play it's a Y yes so what's wrong here 
why didn't we change it into IES? Now, because we have this, A. So what is A? A is a vowel. Oh, so since A is a vowel and the rule says that it's verbs ending with the consonant plus Y. And here we have vowel plus Y, which means we are not going to apply the rule. We just add S. We have two examples, for example, play and stay. Great. Let's move now to the negative form of the verbs in the English language. Except, of course, except the verb to be. To study. Now look at to study. We say I, you, don't. We, you, don't. So we add the auxiliary don't. Okay? Don't and the verb infinitive. But when we go to he, she, it, it becomes doesn't. Now pay attention here. He studies and negative, he doesn't study. So the verb changes to the infinitive form and the S goes to doesn't, okay? He doesn't study. Now, doesn't here has two main rows. It shows that it, the sentence is negative. It shows also that it is in the simple present. Right. Let's, let's look at another example. To have, again, I don't have, you don't have, we don't have, they don't have, and we have, he doesn't have, she doesn't have, it doesn't have. You see now how the verb changes into the infinitive, and this is very important. Next one example, now we move to the interrogative form. The interrogative form, for example, to speak. I speak, do I speak, do you speak, do we speak? So look here, uh, with the blue color, it's only do, but when it comes to he, she, it, it becomes does. Now, he speaks. Does he speak? Again, the verb becomes infinitive, okay? Goes into the infinitive form. Next example. So here, for example, we have a question. Do you speak Chinese? So this question has two possible answers. Either you say yes, I do, or no, I don't. Short answers. Great. So, long answers. Either you say, yes, I speak English, uh, I speak Chinese, or you say, no, I don't speak Chinese. Great. Another example. Does Sarah go to cinema? So, either you say, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Again, short answer. Okay? Or, yes, she goes to cinema, or... No, she doesn't go to cinema. Pay attention here. With no, she doesn't. The verb returns to the in, to the infinitive form. Okay. No, she doesn't go there. Or no, she doesn't go to cinema. Exercises now. Let's move to some practice. So what do we have here? Put these sentences in the negative form. The first sentence. Joseph, John helps his mom every day. So. If you want to do the exercise alone, just stop the video and do it alone, okay? Another sentence, they relax on Saturdays. Again, look at the sentences carefully. Now, let's look at the first sentence. John helps his mom every day. So, let's look at the verb. Yes, the verb has an S. Wow. So, the S, which means that I'm going to use doesn't in the negative form. So, doesn't is going to be between the subject and the verb. John doesn't help... Uh, and I delete the S because the verb must be in the infinitive, okay? Next example, here we have relax. There is no S, so which means I'm going to use don't, okay? And don't is going to be used between the subject and the verb. They don't relax on Saturdays. And my two sentences are going to be John doesn't help his mom every day. And they don't relax on Saturdays. Great. Let's move on. Another exercise. Again, put these sentences in the interrogative form. So again, interrogative form. So she studies hard every day. And the other sentence, we have too much homework. Great. Again, let's look at the verb. When you look at the verb, you, are, you can see that it has an IES, which means I'm going to use what does in the interrogative form. Great. And that is going to be used in the beginning of the sentence. So the sentence is going to be, does she study hard every day? 
Next sentence. We have too much homework. Look at have. There's no S, okay? Which means uh, I'm going to use do. So the sentence is going to be do we have too much homework? Okay. Do we have too much homework? Great. Thank you for watching. What I want to say here before we end this uh, course is that all the verbs in the English language, when they are in the simple present negative, they take either don't or doesn't, except the verb to be. When they are in the negative form, they take either do or does, except the verb to be. This rule goes for all the verbs in the English language. This course is intended to all the students in English, Common Core, first year and back students, either in Morocco or outside Morocco. Thank you for watching. This is Ahmed Sayar. So please, before you, you leave, encourage us by like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.